What is going on guys, Anatoly from Define Agile here in this Jira tutorial we're gonna talk about dashboards. Dashboards is a very powerful thing in Jira for uh, managing your boards, for performance, to see at a glance what is happening. So today we're just gonna do an introduction, we're gonna create some simple dashboards with some gadgets. Uh, let's get right into it. So when I go into my Jira right away, I'm landing onto a dashboard. And by default, it is a system dashboard. So whatever system generated. But let's say I want to see some of my own stuff. I don't want to see the system things. I want to create my own dashboard. How would I do that? Well, to do that, I click on three dots. I go to create dashboard. And it gives me name and description. So my name will be Anatoly's dashboard and description all cool things and then I can make it either private for myself or I can make it per project per group open public uh, I like my dashboard to be private because well it's me who will be using that other people might not have a context that I have and for a team sometime you can sometimes you can agree on some certain things and start as dashboards and then you create a public one or a group one for your team but I'm creating a private one for myself so I click save and right away I'm getting into the empty dashboard so right now if I go to somewhere and I click back I'm instead of getting to a system dashboard I'm getting into my own dashboard so now you see we can add some gadgets to this dashboard if I click add new gadget I'm having it two gadgets by default, but if I click load all gadgets, it will give me a bunch of different other gadgets. So here I can see important things. You can read for all of those gadgets. Uh, I like activity stream gadgets to see what is happening uh, in a system. I like to have assigned to me, so it shows all the issues assigned to me. Uh, I also sometimes like to see remaining days in a sprint so I have that and uh, yeah well let's leave it at this for now but you can see there are lots of other things there are lots of charts um, depends who you are if you are a product owner you might want to have completed versus in progress release the burn down charts if you're a scrum master you might want to have burn down charts there uh, and other things sprint health gadgets so it depends who you are if you're a developer you probably care about issues in progress assigned to you and all the activity that is happening so based on your role in a company it's important to choose the gadget that suits you so I added three gadgets as an example here and uh, you can move them around so here uh, okay it shows you the configuration for every one of them so let's say days remaining in a sprint gadget will show you which board I want to show I don't want to show a board name do I want to show a sprint name I say yes and uh, this is a sprint so automatically we show the uh, the active sprint so then I click save and you can see the sprints already ended so it says zero days remaining and it shows me my board and uh, the date so now if we go to assign to me I can also manipulate columns that are showing like the number of results um, and reordering different fields and how often do I want it to update so I just leave it as it is and click save in assign to me you can see that uh, I can enjoy my day because there's nothing assigned to me so this would be a simple board I can definitely see what assigned to me what happened with all the tickets and uh, how many days remaining into a sprint uh, you can create custom ones as well so you don't only have a predefined ones you can use filters to filter a bunch of things your plugins sometimes add some dashboards for you as well that is amazing so you can have the custom gadgets based on your plugins um, yeah I'll show you more in depth uh, on it if you want just to put the questions with the comments down below and uh, I'll be happy to elaborate more on this is just introduction to dashboards 
Please let me know again if you have any questions, concerns. If you like content like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel because I really need those subscribers to increase visibility so more and more people can learn Jira. If your company needs a person who can help you set stuff up and uh, maintain your Jira or teach you Agile, please go to defineagile.com, schedule a free consultation, and I'll be happy to help you. It was Anatoly from Define Agile. Have a terrific day, and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.